Hello, 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 everybody. Thanks for joining me once again. We're looking at question number nine now on the 2008 Manitoba Math Contest. Prove that if a plus b plus c is equal to zero, then a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed is equal to 3abc. Hmm, okay. So I've seen a question or two like this in, in, in the past. Uh, they usually give you some constraint. Uh, oh, there's question eight, so let's uh, let's get ourselves a brand new piece of paper here. Uh, they, they usually give you something to the effect of sort of a plus b is some constant, I don't know, four. And then they, they also give you some other piece of information like a, b is equal to two. And they say come up with a squared plus b squared. Well, that's uh, a plus b squared minus 2ab, so not that hard. And then they say, come up with a cubed plus b cubed. Well, you do the a plus b cubed, and then you have to sort of add or subtract on some other stuff. And that's the general style of these questions. So which one have we got here? Well, we've got uh, a plus b plus c is equal to zero. We don't really have extra information. Okay, there isn't an a times b times c already given. But we still, we need to get a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. How can we get a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed? Well, let's try cubing this. So a plus b plus c, so 0 cubed. Here, I'll give myself a little more room. 0 is equal to 0 cubed, which is equal to a plus b plus c all cubed. And then now we have to try and sort of expand this out. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with this, you know, if you don't sort of can't just do it in your head, that's okay. Try squaring it and then multiplying that by a plus b plus c. So squaring this would be uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared plus 2ac plus c squared plus 2bc. Now we multiply this guy by a plus b plus c. So a times this, so it would be a cubed plus 2a squared b plus ab squared plus 2a squared c plus ac squared plus 2abc. Hey, 2abc. abc is one of the things we're, we're trying to talk about. And then plus b times all of this, so b a squared plus 2ab squared plus b cubed plus 2abc, there's another one of them, plus uh, bc squared, plus 2b squared c. And now we multiply c through with everything. So ca squared plus 2abc plus uh, b squared c plus 2ac squared plus c cubed plus 2bc squared. Now there's uh, a bunch of collecting like terms that we can do. Now we can get our uh, a squared c's. There, there, there they are. A c squareds. Um, our b c squareds. And we use red for our uh, b squared c's. So we get. The a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed we desire. We also get six abcs. Okay, well, if we compare back to the original question, we want to talk about three abcs. Okay, so we're, we're ever so slightly off there, but no big deal. And then we've got plus three times a squared b plus... Uh, a b squared plus uh, a squared c plus c or a c squared plus b squared c plus b c squared. So there's three of each of them. Alrighty. So we got a cube, a cubed, b cubed, c cubed over here. Now we want three a b c on the other side. So we've got first of all we got the wrong number of a b c's. 
Second of all, we've got them on the wrong side. So we need this stuff here to essentially turn out to be nine ABCs. That's what we'd like. Negative nine ABCs. Well, what are we to do? Well, I noticed that uh, some of these have A's, some of them have B's, and some of them have C's lying about. So we got A cubed, B cubed, C cubed, and all of this is still zero, by the way. Plus six ABC, plus three, and then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out uh, uh, an AB, We'll get A plus B here. Um, hmm. No, maybe not, that's not the way to go. I'll take out an A and get B squared plus C squared. I'll take out a B and get A squared plus C squared. And I'll take out a C and get uh, uh, A squared plus B squared. Okay, so has this really improved my situation? Well, not necessarily, but uh, if we get, go back to our original statement here, if a plus b plus c is equal to zero, then uh, what does that mean? That means that uh, a plus b is the same as negative c. So if I were then to square that, I'd get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to c squared. So then I could do something to the effect of, um, so I've got an a plus b, or a squared plus b squared here. I could then say a squared plus b squared is c squared minus 2ab. And likewise, I can do the same thing. So likewise, a squared plus c squared is uh, b squared minus the two other ones, 2ac. And b squared plus c squared is a squared minus 2bc. So now I can take these and sub them in here. And I, I am just fiddling around here. I don't quite have a direction, but uh, we're going to copy this. So 0 equals, and we got a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus 6abc. And now we've got plus 3a, a squared minus 2bc, plus b, b squared minus 2ac, plus c, c squared minus 2ab. So I can expand that out. I'll get uh, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus 6abc plus 3, well, we'll have a cubed here, won't we? Minus 2abc plus b cubed minus 2abc plus c cubed minus 2abc. So now we can uh, bring this 3 out here, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus 6abc plus 3a cubed minus 6abc plus 3b cubed minus uh, 6abc plus 3c cubed minus 6abc. So let's collect these things now. So we've got 4a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. Then we have 6 minus 6 minus 6 minus 6. We have negative 12. So minus 12 ABCs. So I'll bring the, them over to the other side. And we get 12 ABC is 4 A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed. And dividing by 4 on both sides, we get exactly what they asked us for. Okay, so we just had to sort of manipulate around, fiddle around with that original a plus b uh, plus c equals zero. 
uh, cubing it was a great instinct, and then I got a little stuck, so I just started playing around. And I only have the one piece of information, a plus b plus c equals zero. So that's where everything is going to come from. So when stuck, go back to all the previous equations I've derived, either the one we started with or some other things we've worked out along the way. Okay, And that, that's really how you handle any of those questions. So that was uh, question nine, right? Yeah, that was question nine on the 2008 MMC. I think it's been a fine paper so far, and I expect it to continue to be so as we move into question number 10.